Hello and welcome to a demonstration video for the Circuit Abbey Envy. The Envy is a 4HP Eurorack format module that features two channels of attenuversion and offset as well as an internally normal paths. Uh, the first thing I would like to demonstrate would be the use of offset to generate DC bias. Uh, the Envy right now has nothing going into either input 1 or 2 and outputs 1 and 2 are both going out to respective sources in this crazy mess of cables that you can't see, but I want you to hear. See, it's magic. So I'm going to raise the offset on the first channel, and you'll see the oscilloscope reflect that, and you'll hear it. Let's go negative on the offset for channel 1. And now channel 2. Now that is the two discrete outputs. One of the interesting things about the Envy is that if you have patch cables connected into outputs 1 and 2, they are individual channels. Now if I disconnect the output from output 1, output 2 will actually be outputs 1 and 2 mixed together going to the same destination. So let's disconnect output 1. So this is the offset for channel 1. This is the offset for channel 2, affecting the output of the mixed output. I just reconnected output 1, and output 2 is left connected. One of the other cool features about the Envy is that the inputs are normal. So if you have one input source going to input 1 but nothing connected to input 2, that same input will be sent to both channels. In this situation, I'll have an input going into input 1, both outputs connected, so input 1 will go to outputs 1 and 2 individually. This will be output 1. And this will be output 2. Now, what attenuversion means is that if the attenuver is fully clockwise, the signal will be passed the same voltage that it came in. So, for instance, if you send 5 volts positive and you have the attenuverter at fully clockwise, you will be sending out 5 volts positive. If you were to go counterclockwise, it will invert the signal. So let's go counterclockwise with input 1, and you'll see the phase between the two change. See, now they're crossing the streams, Ray. They're crossing the streams! One of the interesting things about the Envy is that the Attenue version actually has a gain stage. This is meant so that way if you have a really low level signal and you want to boost it up a little bit, you have the capability to do so. So for instance, what that will do to already hot signals is you will get like a hard clipping. 
For instance, we have an attack release curve generated by a mass, which outputs 0 to 10 volts DC. Now, if we bring that into input 1, if you look at the panel of the NV, the 3 o'clock and the 9 o'clock positions have little plus and minuses on them. That, to me, is about normal gain stage for a 0 to 10. If I go farther clockwise, you will see a hard flat line near the top of the curve. So this is farther clockwise. See how it's peaking? So, feature, gain stage, it also does the same thing in uh, inversion. If you look at it right now, see how the point doesn't get flatlined. This is at about 9 o'clock on the knob. Now, if I go farther counterclockwise, we will get plateauing. Okay, I'm going to return the U10 inverter back to the upright noon position and take out the mass. Now, one of the other routing options is that if you have an input in input 1 and an input in input 2, outputs 1 and 2 will be um, parallel. They will be, they don't get mixed together. So this is going to be an LFO in input 1, and input 2 is an attack release generated by channel 4 of the maths. So I'm going to bring up uh, the attendee version for the first channel. And now we'll bring up the uh, maths which will be the flat line will start dancing. You can easily tell which one is the mats because it's flatlining because I put it a little bit above three o'clock. So in this case, we have two parallel signals going through the NV and going out to two different sources. Now, if you have inputs into input 1 and 2 and disconnect the output from output 1, inputs 1 and 2 will be summed out the output. Now, let's see if I can get a little more LFO in there. So now the top wave is actually a combination of the LFO as well as the AR generated by the mats. I'm going to throw output one, reconnect that. Because that sounds so much, that's awesome. This is like science fiction from the depths of hell. Now, earlier in the demonstration, I had showed offsets. That was what I was using as a flatline DC source. You can apply offset to incoming signals to move them either farther into the positive range or farther into the negative voltage range. So, in this case, I'm going to increase the offset on, a on the first input, which is the LFO. I just took out the second, so it's a little more easy to understand. See the LFO is being pushed into the positive range. The offset has been increased all the way clockwise, meaning that what was then negative 5 is now 0, so what was then 5 is plus 10. Since the module hard clips, you can see that it goes down to 0, goes up, and then plateaus again. So let's lower the offset to noon. In fact, we can actually lower the offset fully counterclockwise and go negative LFO. I'm going to go back to noon. We are going to bring in that mass because I like to have fun.
Thank you for watching the demonstration video of the Circuit Abbey Envy. The Envy is a 4 HP Eurorack format module featuring two channels of a 10U version and offset, as well as a number of interesting normal input and output configurations. It is available now from a number of distributors. Thank you and have a good night.